It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today, I am back with a whole bunch of Lightyear toys. This is the Disney Pixar Lightyear spaceships, and I, I've been calling them the Polly Pocket sets. These are not officially Polly Pockets. I don't even remember if Mattel is the one that makes Polly Pockets. These are made by Mattel. I'm not sure about the Polly Pockets. But this is definitely a Polly Pocket with a spaceship, right? Look, it even looks like he's the old tiny Polly Pocket where he'll bend in half. If this is true, I am super stoked. I have been really missing all of the old Polly Pockets. The new ones that stick and don't bend are not impressive to me, and that's why you don't see many on my channel, because I don't like them. <laughs> These, though, that's where it's at. I'm very excited. If they actually bend, I am going to probably lose my mind. So, yeah. Okay, I have the XL1 and Buzz Lightyear, the XL7 and Buzz Lightyear, the Zyclops and Pods, and the Zerg ship. This one is called the Zerg Fighter ship. Look at it, it's so big. Like, okay, it's so big, but it's so small because it's a Polly Pocket one, but it's big for like a Polly Pocket size, but like, Anyway, guys, I don't know how to describe it that makes sense because it sounds ridiculous, but I'm really <laughs> excited to get these open. These are the toys I have been most wanting, and I didn't even realize that I missed out on one. I mean, I grabbed every one they had on the shelf because I was like, woo, you know how I get. But, yeah, okay, so we get them open? Let's get them open. Okay, we're not going to wait any longer. That's just not going to happen. Okay, I will show you the the uh packaging up close this is the hyperspeed series i didn't see that earlier sorry it's for ages four and up and is made by mattel i am so, i'm so stoked this is gonna be so cool <laughs> all right here are the other ones that you can get which i do have all of them except one one of these other white chips so i don't does it say all right i'm missing these two those are the two that i'm missing so Actually, that's kind of good. I'll do another video where I'll have two of them in there at least, and it won't be just one of them. But yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited. Okay, so this one comes with Buzz Lightyear in a white outfit. That's XL1. XL7 comes with Buzz Lightyear in a green outfit. I'm really excited about all the designs of all these different ships. I hope we get to see a lot of this, and this is a really cool, like, engineering-y, nerdy movie. I'm going to be very stoked about that. So yeah. Okay, uh, I think the backs of them are mostly the same. This, yeah, this is still part of the Hyperspeed series, so I wonder if this is, like, already a Wave 2. I don't know, you guys. I don't know why this one wasn't shown on the package. This one, I guess, is bigger, but it's still definitely in, well, I mean, this is the right size to be in scale with a Buzz Lightyear that's more of a Polly Pocket size. So, he is a little bit bigger, of course, but he has to be because he's this giant robot thing. But this is the Zerg fighter ship, and of course it comes with the Zerg robot looking thing. And here's the back of that box, sorry. <laughs> Struggling there on the angle. Okay, for whatever reason, none of the packaging show this one on it, but it says it's part of the Hyperspeed series and it looks like it is, so I don't know. All right, here's the Zyclops and the pods. This kind of goes with the Zerg ship. Um, the Zyclops remind me of the Hornets and also the Zerg bots. It's like a little bit of a combination of those and what they've made Zerg into, which is either a robot or like a robot suit. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited that they changed up the design a little bit so we've got some different looking toys. They look very robotic and sciencey, sci-fi, kind of techy, geeky, cool. So yeah, guys, guys. Okay. These are all in blister packs, so we should just be able to separate the plastic from the cardboard here. So I will show you that if I can do it. There we go. All right, we've got, let's see what it says inside of here. Uh, pilot's ship. Okay, so basically it says open it up and put the guy inside, which I think in all of these cases is probably Buzz Lightyear, but I guess you could play with it as any astronaut. But put the astronaut pilot inside and he can fly the ship. But yeah, we already knew that. That's why we were so excited about it, right? Oh, I love minis and mini playsets and mini vehicles that I guess are sort of a playset too because you can put the character inside of it and then play with the whole thing as a toy. Yeah, that's a tough call on what, but anyway. Yes, just yes. That's what you needed to know. Okay, there's two plastic trays so you can remove that top plastic tray. 
And then there's no more eye tags or anything. So you can just remove the vehicle and the lip. Yes, guys. Totally old timey Polly Pocket bending. But even better than that, they bend separately. Guys, this little dude moves his arms and his legs and each are separate pieces. He does have four joints in here. That's insane. I am super in love with this. I love mini toys. This is so cool. This is even better than the Polly Pocket thing that I thought it was going to be. And it can still totally play with my Polly Pockets. It does look like it's going to be a little bit taller than the traditional Polly Pockets. But I mean, he's a space guy, right? So he could have come from anywhere. He could be an alien in a space suit. I mean, he could be anything that you want in the Polly Pocket world. So that is super cool. I'm going to probably play with my Polly Pockets with these. And my Polly Pockets will fit in here because they're smaller, not bigger. So there's a rubber band across it. I will actually, before I show you all of these up close, let me get everybody open. Now that I've at least, you know, discovered the possibility of these, know that I'm going to love them. I'm going to open all of them. They're all going to be relatively similar to open except this Zerg ship. So I'll go over that real quick. There is an I tag, so shaped like the capital letter I, that goes around this top wing. They do seem a little bit elasticy, so you should be able to just kind of cut that and that will fall free. There we go. And then I think, oh, there's one toward the bottom. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's one that's on the bottom of these wings, ah, right here. So you're going to need to cut that lower one as well. And will that free it? Almost. Okay. If you cut this plastic piece here, I'm hoping that will be enough to free it. Not quite. There are two pieces to that plastic part. And they are not easy to cut. What if I cut here? Will that make you happier? Okay, um, parents be very careful doing this. Probably do not give this one to your kids to unbox. This one is tough to get out, and as you start cutting this plastic, it is very sharp. All right, I don't know. I'm still stuck on something. All right, well, I'm going to start removing the blister pack piece and see if I can tell from the back what I'm stuck on. Oops. All right, there's the Zerg guy. This one has projectiles, guys. Here's one of them. What am I stuck on? Oh, probably not how I should have done that. So what you're going to want to do for this one is you're going to want to cut all of these pieces of tape in here to open up this back panel. And once you open up this back panel, you'll see the piece that I just broke that I was supposed to very nicely take apart. So I'm going to cut it a little bit further so I can bend it down to show you. So right in here was one of those plastic plug things. You probably turn it and then it comes free. And I couldn't tell what was attaching it. So that's my bet. Yeah, see, it shows you, you turn it and it comes free. I totally just like ripped it out of the ship, but I guess I was kind of wiggling it enough and then it, it came apart. So here's the little plug that you need to do. So cut that off, open this, unplug it, and then it will come out. Sorry about that, you guys. I, I shouldn't should not have done that, but now you don't have to potentially almost break yours, so you're welcome. Okay, there is that packaging. I will get the other two open, and then I will show you everything. But what's interesting that I'm going to note just as I'm seeing this, this looks like magnets on the bottom of here. I wonder if that has something to do with the play pieces later, and this is concerning. I don't know if this was part of something or not. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I got everybody open. I will note that the other two ships, which I think were Seven and the Zerg pods that I had not opened yet, 
did actually have some eye tags inside, so there were a few snips that I had to make in order to get them out, and then each one did have the rubber band around the uh, cockpit part that opened. So, lots to show you here. So, I will move this big one out of the way so I don't stab myself on it, but here is the first ship. I think it did say it was XL1, and I think on this wing fin here, it does say, uh, yeah, it does say XL1. So this is XL1. <laughs> Super cool ship, you guys. Look at all this detail. This is so awesome. And then of course it does have the cockpit. I've got Buzz in there already, so I will show you that in a minute. And then there are some other pieces under here. So these are actually little, uh, I mean, I guess they're supposed to be wheels but they don't roll, they're just like plastic peg things that allow the spaceship to stand. So these look really cool. Again, super cheapy, lightweight plastic, they weigh like nothing, you guys. Um, which is good, because you don't want them to be heavy. But there's a ton of detail inside of here. Look at all these electronics and things that are going on. So definitely a lot of cool stuff. I do like that we can pull these wheels out. Unfortunately, they do not roll, which would have been a pretty cool uh, extra to have so it would turn into something more like a like a hot wheel type car type thing so that way we could roll it we could fly it with that sort of thing but you can kind of pretend to roll it and push it along a surface I would be careful with scratching a surface because again they do not actually roll they're just little uh pegs that look like wheels but then you can fold those back up into the ship and then of course the cockpit does open now this one is a little bit tricky so I will tell you on this so with the Buzz Lightyear you have to sort of bend his legs and then you have to tuck them underneath. So I'll show you what I mean in in here. So you have to, whoops, tuck his legs under and then you have to just like keep pushing him in. He almost is laying down in here before you can actually close this top door. The other ones aren't as bad, but for some reason that one's like really low. I guess just because it's a real thin design here. But here is the next ship. This is the 07 or 7. Ah. Nothing much happening on the bottom. I wish they had a few more colors on some of these details because there's so many that they put in here and we just lose all of them. And it's just, uh, it's very sad to me. I feel like the work of the designers just goes completely unnoticed there. And that, that upsets me. All right. The cockpit, of course, does open, and in this one, we do have a green suit Buzz Lightyear. So I will show you that up close. And he does have a whole bunch of articulation, just like the other Buzz Lightyear did. So he's got... He does not have a head joint, but that's okay. Do not try to twist his head, or it will, it will definitely break off. Probably for storage, I would definitely keep these inside of here. Now, depending on how old your kid is, you may want to take out the Polly Pocket-esque figures, um, at least the Buzz ones, since they're just so tiny. Or if you have pets that might swallow them, that sort of thing, uh, they could be a choking hazard. All right, next ship, we have the, the Zerg ship. And, of course, the Zerg robot, which is what I'm showing you right now. And he's got articulation as well, spinnable 360 degree spin joints on each of his arms and each of his legs. So that's super cool. Um, interestingly, he does not actually have any holes in the bottom of his feet. And this is what I guess is going to differentiate uh, with a Polly Pocket figure. Um, well, one, they have more posability, but two, they, they don't uh, attach to any of the play sets. So with Polly Pocket, they were on a little tiny stand that that stand would have certain slots that you could sit it in. Uh, with these, they are just like super tiny action figures, which is so cool, you guys. Um, I do wish that maybe the bigger ones had holes in the bottom of their feet in order to put them on stands and things, but they do stand on their own, so maybe that'll be fine. And since you can't get holes in the bottom of these to realistically stand in play sets. Maybe it'll be, it'll be okay. I wonder if the Buzz Lightyears will stand. I don't know, you guys. And I guess they got boots on. <laughs> no way! They actually do stand. And check out this, uh, the difference here in the, in the height of these guys. Even the, 
Zyclops is so big. That's so cool. He almost looks like a, one of those little green army men because he's got just the green, I guess. Anyway, that is cool. They do actually stand on their own. So maybe that won't be an issue. All right, and here's the ship. This ship, look at this ship. Here we've got this Zerg fighter ship. So much is going on here. This is so cool. Look at this thing. Oh man, this is neat. I would have had a blast being able to design spaceships, spacesuits, uh, other space creatures and whatnot for this film. Um, I really hope that they eventually get the show back going because I loved all the alien creature designs and the alien plants and you know, the ones that were kind of in between, you weren't sure if they were an animal or a plant. I mean, they had so much cool stuff in that show. Oh, but anyway, I digress, guys. These, this is so, so cool. Okay, so some of these I've pulled out. There are three legs on this, kind of like the other, but these are actually more leg-like than wheels. So the first one is up here, and then these two are in the back. So same kind of thing where we've got like a, a tripod, basically, going on in order to stand this ship so that's what we have for that. I don't, I don't think these are supposed to be magnets. Like I kind of mentioned that. And unfortunately it looks like we've got joints here, but they're not, they're not actually hinges. They, this does not fold. So that's a little bit disappointing. There's no extra motion in here. This is all basically one big piece. And then we do have, I guess, the motion of opening this hatch and then we can put the Zerg guy in there. So... I feel like he's going to be harder to get. Oh, I thought he'd be harder to get in because of those feet, but it wasn't too bad. All right. So now Zerg is sitting in there. We will close that up. Did I close it all the way? No? Okay. And now the ship launches, retracts these stands, and it can fly. I mean, it obviously can't, like, actually fly, but imaginative play-wise can fly. So that's super cool. And this is fun. This is the only set that actually did come with instructions. And I'll show you why in a minute. It actually does something. So I will show you first. We've got some different uh, damage that's put in here. This is not actual damage. This is like painted on damage. So it's supposed to look older and have some damage and things like that. And you'll see why it has damage in just a minute. But I will show you the whole thing here. So, oh, and I will show you one of these things. This is one of the Zyclops. They both are identical, so I will just show you the one of them. And then he does have the 360 degree twist in each arm and then the twistable leg here as well. Okay, so this is super cool. This is actually, I guess, two spaceships in here and that's why there's two figures. Here's how this works. So, I'm going to bring in a hot pad for this just because I don't want to make a mess of my table. But you can open this up and then you stick this guy in here. Okay, there we go. You close up the three flaps and then you can do one of two different things. On the bottom of these ships, right on the little knob, it does say one and two. This one says one and this one says two. And I have no idea if my lighting is going to pick that up. Because it's kind of etched into it. My bad. This one, you just open it up to reveal it. The other one is the one that you drop it. Okay, so I open this up. I stick a guy in here. And if you, there's, there's slightly different uh, bottoms. So the one that you can drop it on, it does have the one, but if you, you know, can't see the one and the two on there, it is actually like a little button right there. So that's how you know it's that one. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, it actually opened that time. So it's supposed to kind of crack all of them open, but again, don't want to mess up my table, but that's really cool. The idea is that if you hit this button with enough force, it all just kind of opens up. That's so cool, right? Uh, I kind of wish they both did that. It's really a little bit strange. I wonder if... Okay, so the one that has all these blemishes on it, that's actually only one of them that has that. So I will show you the other one up close, too. 
I'm really sorry about my lighting here. It's uh, it's terrible, and I'm I apologize. The sun is doing weird things and making this odd. But this one looks cleaner, which is interesting because I feel like they should have done that the other way. The one that drops should be the one with all of these paint scratches all over it and all this other stuff. And that's why I guess I had picked up that one. But yeah, interesting. Super cool, though, that they do different stuff. I think that's neat. They're, uh, they're actually two different spaceships in here. And I don't know which one I did. Uh, this one I put, I didn't put in. So I'm going to keep all the little, the little guys in here. This is so cool. I love these. I am super excited to find the other two. These are my favorite Lightyear toys that they have released so far. I love Polly Pockets. I love that this has gone beyond and it's like actually more mini action figures than a Polly Pocket. Like, all these spaceships are so cool. Look at all these different designs. Even the enemy spaceships have different designs and this is just so awesome to me you guys i really love it i mean it's this very simple concept here i do wish the wheels rolled and of course as i always wish on all of these new toys i wish they put a little bit more color in and highlights and things in order to highlight a lot of these extra different design features that are inside of the mold so a little bit disappointed by that but that's the case i mean pretty much with every toy these days and maybe that's a cost factor maybe that's a time factor i'm not really sure I don't make them. I, I wish I did. Maybe I will one day. We'll see. But anyway, I'll show you very briefly the uh, the instruction pods for, for pods one and two. So interestingly, I'll note too, on the side of this, it looks like a scream canister, which is kind of funny because it is one of the villain ships. But anyway, I guess they became laugh canisters later, so it's all good. Anyway. I don't know, you guys. It would make sense because there's a lot of really bad puns throughout the uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command show, so I could see where the laughter would come in more than the screaming, honestly, but Whew. let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments below. Are you guys getting them? Are you getting them for your kids? Are you getting them for a collector? I want to know. Are you getting them all? You know, all of that jazz. Let me know down in the comments below. And are you also a fan of Polly Pockets, since this is a similar toy to the older Polly Pockets that actually did bend? I'm not talking about the stick ones that we have now, but the older ones that bend. Were you a fan of those too, if you also liked these or didn't like these? I would be interested to know about that. Also, do you think they'll make some clamshell play sets for these little tiny action figures? Because I'm down. I'm totally down. Are you guys down? We need to get Mattel on this. Actually, any company, I really don't, I don't care. But since Mattel made these, it would be a lot easier if they just made the play sets too. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get that happening. That would be awesome. Okay. Let me know all that down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. It is completely free for you to do, and it only takes a moment of your time. It really helps encourage us to keep posting videos like this on the channel. So we appreciate you taking a moment of your time to do that right now. You can also click the thumbs up to leave a like. You can go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there, and we're always posting new content. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be sure to join us again soon, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.